Hello, it's Medusa and welcome to this video. This will be part two of my LGBT plus manga series. I would really appreciate it if you watch part one. <laughs> Basically in this series, each video includes 10 different LGBT plus manga series. Today we are starting off with Love Me For Who I Am by Kata Koneyama. So I'll read the description. Mogumo is a cute but lonely non-binary high school student who just wants a few loving friends. As someone who doesn't identify as a boy or a girl, however, finding people who really understand can be a big challenge. When fellow student Iwa Oka Tetsu invites Mogumo to work at an untraditional maid cafe, Mogumo is hopeful that things are looking up. Will they finally find friends to call their own or just more misunderstanding? I actually did a manga vlog for the first two volumes in the series, so I'll put that in like the top right corner, I think. Next is Seven Days by Venio Tachibana, and then the illustrator is Rihito Takarai. On a whim, high school third year Yuzuru Shino asks out first year Toji Siryo, who is notorious for being a week-long lover. He'll date the first girl to ask him out Monday morning and then promptly dump her by the following Monday. The boys start dating and by Tuesday, the first inklings of attraction hit. Can these two put words to their feelings before Monday comes or are old habits too hard to break? I read this and it was pretty cool. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Next is Donuts Under Crescent Moon by Shio Usui. Usui? I'm so freaking sorry. This actually just released today on February 23rd. Um, I don't know how long this series is going to be though. Uno Hinako throws herself into makeup, fashion, and falling in love, hoping that will make her seem normal to the other people at her job. But no matter how hard she tries, she's a self-doubting mess inside, and her attempts at normal romance with men just keep failing. When she starts to think she might be alone forever, a new normal presents itself in the form of her relationship with Asahi Sato, a level-headed woman who works at her company. It starts as respect, and then it becomes far more intimate. I love this so much. I read this twice already, and I just can't wait to buy it. Like, it's so freaking, like, it's just so great. Please, please read this. Next is I Hear the Sunspot by Yuki Fumino. Because of a hearing disability, Koha is often misunderstood and has trouble integrating into life on campus, so he learns to keep his distance. That is, until he meets the outspoken and cheerful Teichi. He tells Kohai that his hearing loss is not his fault. Teichi's words cut through Kohai's usual defense mechanisms and open his heart. More than friends, less than lovers, their relationship changes Kohai forever. I have not read this, but I want to read this so freaking bad. <laughs> This seems really amazing, and I know, I think everybody knows about this already. <laughs> Let's be honest. Next is Adachi and Shimamura, the manga. Um, the art is by Moke Yuzuhara. The original story is by Hitoma Iruma. And the character design is by Nan. This also has a light novel and an anime. So, this must be popular as heck or something. I don't even know. This just released today on February 23rd as well. So here's the description. The second floor of the gym. That's our spot. Class is in session right now, but they don't hold class in a place like this. This is where Shimamura and I became friends. What is this feeling? Yesterday, I dreamed of kissing her. I'm not like that, and I'm sure Shimamura isn't either. But when Shimamura thinks of the word friend, I want to be the first thing that comes to her mind. That's all. So... <laughs> That's a different description than like what's on the back of the actual manga, but whatever, it's fine. I watched the anime, loved it a lot. I read this volume, I loved it a lot. Like this is just so great, I just love it so much. <laughs> Next is The Wise Wise Beasts of the Wizarding Wisdoms by Nagabe. I'm going to say this right now, I did not like this at all. I like Nagabe and the girl from the other side, but this just was not it. This was really just not my thing, but I still decided to include it in this video because you might enjoy it, you know? Like, everybody's different, so yeah. Hidden away deep within the woods, far from the prying eyes of the world, lies the wisdom school of wizarding. There, beasts of all kinds gather to live, to learn, and to love. From everyday animals to fantastical creatures, 
These BL stories are told with a realistic and lighthearted touch. Whatever. <laughs> um, this is a one shot as well. Next is Our Teachers Are Dating by Pikachu Ohi. I don't know if that's how you say their name correctly. Hayama Sensei and Tirano Sensei are two women who work at the same school and just started going out. They are a little shy about their budding relationship, but their co workers and even their students are rooting for them as they bumble their way through love. So it's just a wholesome Yuri with teachers, which I think is very interesting. I'm not sure if there's a Yuri like that. Next is There Are Things I Can't Tell You by Idako Mofu Mofu. I'm pretty sure this is Yaoi, not BL. Well, I mean, <laughs> I meant like, I'm pretty sure this is Yaoi, not like wholesome BL, you know? But I don't know because I haven't read this. Kasumi and Koyusuke are polar opposites when it comes to personality. Kasumi is reserved, soft-spoken, and shy. Kayosuki is energetic and has always been popular among their peers. As the saying goes though, opposites have a tendency to attract and these two have been fast friends since elementary school. To Kasumi, Kayosuke has always been a hero to look up to, someone who supports him and saves him from the bullies. But now, school is over, their relationship suddenly becomes a lot less simple to, des to describe. Facing the world and one another as adults, both men find there are things they struggle to say out loud, even to each other. So I guess this is about them coming out to each other or something. Like, I don't know what this is about. Well, obviously I know what it's about, but like, I don't know what it's about at the same time. So yeah, you know, that exists. Next is Our Wonderful Days by Kai Hamuro. This is only three volumes long, which is really great. As children, Koharu and Matthew were best buds until Matthew moved away to Tokyo. But now, several years have passed and Matthew is back attending the same high school as Koharu. As the two girls explore their sleepy hometown, Koharu can't help but develop a crush on her childhood best friend. I feel like the description is wrong because it's Matthew that falls in love with Koharu, but like, whatever is fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have Given by Natsuki Kizu. Everybody in the whole world knows about this, but um, I'm going to be finding out what this is about for the first time, so yeah love of music unites the four members of the band given hot-headed guitarist uyeno yama playboy drummer akihiko gentle bassist haruki and mafu a singer gifted with great talent and burdened by past tragedy their struggles and conflicts may drive them apart but their bond to the music and to one another always brings them back together again Ritsuka Yuenoyama is bored with it all, with school, with his basketball club, and even with his one true passion, playing guitar. That is, until the day he finds his favorite hidden napping spot, occupied by a strange boy cradling a broken stringed guitar. At first, Yuenoyama is nonplussed by Mafuyu Sato and his slightly odd behavior, but when, on a whim, he asked Matthew to sing. The power of that song pierces him to the core. This sounds really amazing. I need to read this right now. So yeah, I also think Volume 5 came out recently, so I also need to catch up <laughs> on this series. But yeah, that is it for this video. I'm always down for my recommendations because obviously I don't know about all the LGBT plus manga in the world. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!